Raise the pain like I'm Nagato Got no father like I'm Naruto Keep the blade on me, Ichigo Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo Diamonds whipping up on the stove Lucky man like a fully glow Diamonds wanna go Hello guys, this is Nagato And welcome back to my channel For today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showcasing On how to transfer any file over from your PS3 to your PC Using FileZilla FTP client You can use an, uh, another FTP client as well But for the, today's tutorial, I'm mostly familiarized with FileZilla And I've been using it for a multitude of consoles as well So that's why I like that, per or I like that process personally And it's fairly easy for most people to understand What you'll need for this, uh process which I like to stay in all my videos and any files I use will be in the link in the description below you will need rebug toolbox so for a rebug toolbox this is how we're going to be FTPing our basically our files over because when we install a rebug toolbox and you know utilize that we can basically host our FTP from our PlayStation 3 to our PC you'll need FileZilla FTP client and also what you'll need is a USB drive that is formatted to FAT32 so we could transfer over this PKG file um, you could kind of skip this step as well if you guys are already on or already have rebug uh, custom firmware installed because most rebug custom firmware if not all has rebug toolbox already installed within the firmware so it, you can install the PKG straight up from the custom firmware but if you guys don't have rebug and you're on the, your own custom firmware like ITA or whatever you can do this process as well I'll be using my PlayStation 3 uh, Slim that's on 4.84 Kex. This method does work with Dex. I think I cleared out all the um or cleared up all the prerequisites. But now what you want to do is go ahead and take your Rebug Toolbox PKG, and you can download it in the description below. And what you want to do is go ahead and plug in your USB drive that is formatted to FAT32. This is mine's right here. And before you want to make sure that your USB is actually on FAT32. So what you want to do go to is your properties. Add then to your file system and make sure it states that it's FAT32. If not, what you want to go now is just right click over it, format, and then into your file system. If your things on NTFS or XFAT, just go ahead and hover over FAT32. For your allocation unit size, either you can leave it the same or go to the default allocation size depending on what your PC states. Your volume label really doesn't matter. You can label it as Sony or whatever your name you want to. And then go ahead and toggle quick format and then hit start. But before you hit okay, if you guys do have any important files or if you guys have any important items, go ahead and back it up to another USB flash drive or into your PC first because anytime when you reformat a hard drive and this is usually the general like rule of thumb for computers anytime you try to uh, reformat anything it'll basically wipe the drive clean so unless you have a clean USB and you want to do that that's fine but if you do have important stuff make sure you do that assuming that y'all guys um are on FAT32 now what you want to do is go ahead and drag and drop your rebug toolbox pkg on the root of your flash drive and then what you want to do now is go ahead and exit out of this and safely eject your usb drive out from your pc and you should get this little notification it's really important that you guys do this i still have a really bad issue with that i'll just rip my usb drive out but the reason why you always want to do that is due to not having corrupted files and breaking your usb drive because every time you do that you're at risk when you basically just rip your USB drive out. But <clears throat> what we're gonna do now is go ahead to the PS3 and I'm gonna show you guys on
example dev underscore hdd zero is your hard drive um if you guys um mess with anything with like the dev underscore flash or anything like that make sure you know what you're doing dev underscore usb zero zero is the usb connected in so if i go here this is the same usb that we put in our pc earlier so this is the rebuck toolbox so if you want to drop games on your usb you could do it that way um dev underscore rebug if you guys want to mess with code boots and stuff this is where you would go like under vsh resource and if you see here you mess with like all of the doc rco files and stuff like that so yeah right here this is like the code boot graph and this is how you would transfer files over for example dev underscore ac zero if i go to home go to my first profile here i don't really have any save data or trophies since i reformatted this uh playstation 3 but it would be located in this folder if you had any type of like game data or whatever since this is like rebug toolbox this is the only quote unquote game or slash homebrew i have on my ps3 as of right now since i've upgraded my hard drive um dev underscore bvd or bdvd excuse me this is uh gran turismo 5 is in here so if i were to pull an image out from here all I would have to do is just drag and drop to my PC and as you see I don't know if you can see that little icon I'm trying to boot it up now um this is Gran Turismo 5 and this is basically uh showcasing what's on the disc of my uh PS3 and it'll work for any game as well I'll wait for that thing to load so I can show y'all guys or it's about to do it now but there's some other cool things like if I wanted to get the trophy data out from my uh, disc right here, I could just pull the trophy TRP. Oh, there I go, the Gran Turismo 5 um, logo right here, showcasing that's what this gets in. But yeah, but that's how essentially you could transfer files over. If I were to, you know, transfer files to certain directories to my desktop, I can do it that from here. But that's essentially how you do this process. If you guys did enjoy this video and did learn something from it, please make sure to leave a like. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you guys do care about, you know, PlayStation 3 modding tutorials. I have a ton still to do. Um, but with that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching.